One of the largest energy saving programs in the state of Florida is being launched at Miami International Airport. The changes won't only save money on utility bills, but keep everybody cool at the same time. CBS 4's Walter McCullough was there for the unveiling. They say it is literally the coolest airport in the country now. This is like the biggest air conditioner you've ever seen in your life. We know Florida's steamy summer temperatures can be unbearable, and it drives electricity and water consumption here through the roof every year, and that means huge utility bills. Power alone costs more than $32 million a year here. So MIA officials have come up with a number of energy-saving and cost-cutting methods. The biggest change is this massive air conditioning cooling system. The humidity is taken out of the water here. The water then travels to a massive chiller. At this point, the water is about 10 degrees cooler than it was before. The water is then sent back through the terminal to cool the air conditioning units all over the airport. And the process is repeated over and over again. Our savings because of this project are 35.2 million kilowatt hours of energy per year, which equals to eliminating the annual emissions of 5,100 cars, 28 million of gallons of water per year saved, enough to fill 43 Olympic swimming pools. Ventilation upgrades are also being added. Retrofits will be made to water faucets and toilets to conserve water. And more energy efficient lighting will replace outdated energy consuming bulbs and fixtures. My favorite part of the project is my workers won't need to change light bulbs for many, many years. And um, my workers could be redeployed in other areas of the airport and utilized. But the changes aren't only going green, they're saving green. About $40 million over the next 14 years. And the project is creating tons of jobs, about 300 just for the installation of all the changes. We can expect all of those changes to be completed within the next two years. From Miami International Airport, Walter McCalla, CBS4 News.